All right, finally, some new Dead House stuff to talk about. Let's get into it right away. Remember from where you came, brutal degradation, a torrent of never-ending pain. Remember the day you were created, hatred, malice, and slavery you were fated. Remember your mortal life so long ago, injustice, corruption, and unending woe. Remember the institutions you embrace, the futile hope, witness their fall from grace. Remember the reason you are here. Persistence, focus, give them fear. Remember what they did was wrong. The old world has made you strong. Okay, so the first first and foremost, the most important thing to talk about here is going to be the Open 3D Engine. Amazon Lumberyard is now dead. Open 3D Engine is the new thing. Bit, bit of, a, bit of a, a tongue twister right there. I think Lumberyard is easier to say, but um, Open 3D Engine or O3DE, as it is shortened and abbreviated to, is a little bit easier on the mouth. Um, and it is it is a sight to behold. It is still really early in development. Um, it's it's a Linux Linux based thing. So that means it's like it's my my problem here with with uh, the Open Three D Engine being uh, Linux based and being supported by the Linux Foundation. Although it's incredibly amazing, way to go! Finally, something for Linux, right? Um, is that Linux is at one part the most secure. Uh, system operating system and and open 3d engine will probably be the most secure game engine on the planet but at the exact same time it will be the most open and vulnerable game engine and uh, operating system on the planet as well um linux is used like it's the hacker community um operating system right if you're if you're a hacker if you're in um cybersecurity, you're not going to be using windows 10 or this new windows 11 you're going to be using linux right so at that point you have with linux it's uh, you have all these whites grays and black hat hackers um, who use linux to exploit the vulnerabilities and get into the system but then they fix the system and fix those vulnerabilities so you have a double-edged sword of it being incredibly open but also incredibly secure not that that's really a bad thing if you have a bunch of linux people and hackers and stuff working on your engine and working on your operating system to get like the most secure thing ever right um now i'm just going around in circles but open 3d engine is super exciting um it looks really good so far from the videos and stuff that I'm showing here, um, it looks pretty good. It's still, once again, really early in development. It's also a maddening thing to undertake. I think Amazon and all the developers, like Dennis Dyack, for instance, for like for Apocalypse Studios, Dead House Sonata, um, and everybody else involved with Open 3D Engine are madmen for building a new game engine along with your game i mean it's not that it hasn't been done before that's exactly how the masters of doom carmack and romero and, and all the, the the doom boys quake um that's how they managed to do all their stuff they built their own engines right um other really great indie games coming out like harat or h rot however you say it um the dude built his own engine for harat and now he's making his own game with it so more power to you for building your own game engine um, and building an engine from scratch and you know you can make it the way you want you can be like try to create the most the perfect engine for your dreams and for your game right you won't have to rely on unity or unreal or anything especially if you're building your own engine um, but it's also a maddening feat and it's a giant undertaking to get everything working to squash those bugs to to just do everything that goes along with the hassles and struggles and at the end of the day, incredible um, end product uh, for your game engine that you're building. So Open 3D Engine has a lot of potential. 
especially with it being so early in development. It's already up on GitHub. Um, I haven't dived into the source code myself because game engines are just far beyond my understanding right now. Um, but more power to you guys out there for jumping into Open 3D Engine and getting that thing going and working and, and just uh, like the optimization whole process. Like I think everything with building a game engine is really interesting. Um, and especially if you have thousands and thousands of people from the Linux community, just, you know, game developer uh, enthusiasts or, or, you know, en engine building enthusiasts um, from like working on this thing, because it can be a potentially billions and billions and billions of people working on it, adding to it, making it better, um, taking it away, doing their own thing with it. It's It's got the potential like nothing else, especially with how games are now and how close we are to like uncanny valley visuals. Just um, the fact that that uh, Amazon Lumberyard was like a division of the CryEngine, which is already amazing looking. And now you have this new open 3D engine, which can potentially push the boundaries of where we are with visual fidelity for games is really, really interesting. Um, I think Unreal 5 is really close, if not to have already hit that uncanny valley level of detail and visual fidelity. But um, with these pre-renders here, with this like in-game stuff that we have here from Dead House Sonata with Zorin and Nagaztak and the Legionnaire and everything, um, you have that visual fidelity there. You can crank it up to 11 and even further beyond if you really wanted to. So that's super exciting. I'm super excited for this. Um, the videos, they're just been circulating probably on a loop here by now um, for the Open 3D Engine thing. Um, that's all in-game. That's all Open 3D Engine in-game. That's what they have so far. And it's still really early in development, but the fact that this visual fidelity is already kind of there at that point means it can only get better. Um, and I think Dennis himself said, like, don't worry about Nagasak's hair, the vampire's hair or anything, because that's version one. They're going to eventually implement Tress Effects, um, for the hair. I don't know if anybody remembers Tress Effects. It hasn't really been um, at the forefront of gaming, at least that as far as I'm aware, without um, people custom tweaking it around and making their own thing from it. But the last time I remember Tress Effects being used was with the very first Tomb Raider uh, reboot game. That was a whole thing that like pushed people's systems. Um, a version of it, not exactly Tress Effects, but a version of it is also in Witcher 3. Um, and then there's also versions of it for uh, Cyberpunk 2077 with the hair and, and everything like that. So so uh, just the fact that they're they're going back to using Tress Effects and I think finally giving it that push that, that it deserves and it needs. Um, if you know any other games that use Tress Effects, please drop a comment down below. Um, that'd be really interesting to look into. But so far as I know, uh, Tress Effects was only used for like the Tomb Raider reboot and then versions of it have been used for Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077, but I think that's custom done. Um, in regards to the uh, the Old World trailer with Nagaztak here, that's all procedurally generated. So some people in the comments um, in the original video, um, link down below for the original video, um, were like, what's wrong with the shadows? What's wrong with all that? That's all procedurally generated. That's all lighting is real-time lighting. It switches and it changes depending on the perspective, um, which is really cool to see that it's all procedurally generated. Same thing with the mouth, the mouth movement. Um, the animation looks a little bit wonky to me personally, but um, the fact that the mouth movement is all uh, procedurally generated and done with the technology um, that I think it's called Jaffe, not not Taffy, not the, the modeling system that they're using, but it's called like Jaffe or Jerry or you know, Jiffy or something, something along those lines. I'll probably put a text here of what the actual thing is but uh that is actually being used in a lot of games nowadays for their translations cyberpunk 2077 uses it prominently for the different um mouth movements if you're speaking in english you know this is my voice this is my mouth yada 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 um but then if you switch over to another dialect it will find that dialect to listen to that voice and then generate the proper mouth movements for it so um the mouth movement is all uh, artificially driven um, so you won't have to worry about animating it each time. It's fucking amazing. It's fantastic. So, uh, yes, Open 3D Engine is really amazing. Super excited for what the potential of it is possible. I'm also super excited to see what Deadhouse comes out with it and just 
how it will improve over the years, especially with this open source model that they're doing. Um, and finally, uh, I want to talk about the um, the new tarot card art reveal. Dead House Sonata is using a tarot card system. It's like a skill tree system where your skills have skills, right? Essentially. Um, and they've been using different art. Right now, this is just the art for it. Um, it's not near the final product, I think. It's just the concept art. And then once we do get the final version of it, it'll probably look something like the Dance Macabre did for that version. So super, super great for Dead House stuff. Open 3D, all new concept stuff coming. And there's only more stuff coming down the line now. I think we're finally at a point where Dead House is going to just, stuff is just going to start churning out to where there will be a lot of uh, new things to talk about, new things to see. And you guys finally got some gameplay. You finally got some in-game, finally in-game, open 3D engine, Lumberyard is dead, in-game stuff, apart from the models and all these turnarounds and everything. Also, the Old World campaign is ending very soon. It's ending uh, this month, I believe. Um, links for everything down below. Um, links to get a founders pack down below. Blah, blah, blah. Shill, shill, shill. YouTube, YouTube. Algorithm, algorithm. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm Calypso. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you all in the next one. Check out Open3D Engine. Um, check out the GitHub page. I put the link for all that stuff down below as well. If you guys are into the whole engine building, uh, coding enthusiast stuff, personally, I might dig into it a little bit later, but for now, not right now, I'm still busy fucking around with Unreal 4. Um, I'm Calypso. See you guys on the next one.